Romeim, Romans 9. I say the truth in Hamashiach, rather, Mashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Ruach HaKadosh, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Hamashiach, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Yashar El, to whom pertains the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the Torah and the service of Yahweh and the promises whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh HaMashiach came, who is over all, Yahweh, blessed forever. Amen. Not as though the word of Yahweh has not taken no effect, for they are not all Yashara'el, which are of Yashara'el. Neither because they are the seed of Avraham are they all children, but in Yitzhak shall your seed be called. That is, they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of Yahweh, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. For this is the word of promise. At this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. Not only this, but when Rivka also had conceived by one, even by our father Yitzhak, for the children being not not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of Yahweh, according to election, might stand, not of works, but of him that calls. It was said unto her, The elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Eth Yaakov have I loved, but Eth Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with Yah? Never. For he says to Moshe, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then, it is not of him that wills, nor of him that runs, but of Yahuwah that shows mercy. For the scripture says unto Paro, Even for this same purpose have I raised you up, that I might show my power in you, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Therefore has me, rather, has he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will harden, rather, and wh whom he will, he hardens. You will say then unto me, Why does he yet find fault? For who has resisted his will? Nay, but, O oh man, who are you that reply against Yahweh? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why have you made me thus? Has not the potter power over the clay? Of the same lump, to make one vessel unto honor, and another unto dishonor? What if Yahweh, willing to show his wrath, and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction, and that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which he had afore prepared unto glory, even us, whom he has called, not of the Yahudim only, but also of the other nations, as he says, also in Husha, I will call them my people, which were not my people, and her beloved, which was not beloved. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living Elohim. Yeshayahu also cries concerning Yah Shadael, though the number of the children of Yah Shadael be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. For he will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness, 
because a short work will Yahuwah make upon the earth. And as Yasha Yahu said before, except Yahuwah Sevaoth had left us a seed, we had been as Chedam and been made like unto Amora. What shall we say then? That the other nations which followed not after righteousness have attained to righteousness, even the righteousness which is of belief, But Yashar El, which followed after the Torah of righteousness, has not attained to the Torah of righteousness. Wherefore? Because they sought it not by belief, but as it were by the works of the Torah. For they stumbled at that stumbling stone. As it is written, Behold, I lay in Sion a stumbling stone and rock of offense. And whosoever believes on him shall not be ashamed.